My name is Michael Faraday. I was born on September 27, 1791, in Newington Bus, London, in the UK. I lived for 75 years and made many important discoveries. Albert Einstein, a very influential scientist, kept a picture of me on his wall. I was born into a poor family. My parents' names are James and Margaret Faraday. My father works as a blacksmith and was paid a low wage, and he supported our entire family. Before my father and mother were married, my mother had to be a slave and my father was a blacksmith. I was educated at a local school until I was 13. After that, I worked as a delivery boy for a bookshop so I could help support my family. I was soon prompted to, or promoted to apprentice bookbinder, and after a hard day of work, I would read all about chemistry and science. As I got older, I read more and more about science and started using my minimal wage to perform the experiments that I saw in my books. My life was intertwined with my friend Joseph Henry's life. When I got older, we became lab partners and we both made our biggest discoveries in the world of electrical science. We will also eventually have an SI unit named in our honor. He created a practical electromagnet and an early version of the electric doorbell. In 1813, when I was 21, I started to work for Sir Humphrey as a chemical assistant at the Royal Institution of Great Britain. In 1816, when I was 24, I gave my first lecture at the Institution of Great Britain. And when I turned 32 in 1824, I was elected to join the Royal Society, which is recognition that I had become a notable scientist. My biggest promotion was when I turned 41 in 1833. I was promoted to the Fulmerian Professor of Chemistry at the Royal Institution of Great Britain. This would be my job for the remainder of my life. My wife's name was Sarah Barnard, and she would stay with me up until my death. Even though I didn't actually change the model of the atom, my biggest discovery was made 50 years after John Dalton made the billiard ball model of the atom. He said that the atom was solid, but I proved him wrong. For my experiment, I placed two opposite electrodes in a solution of water containing a dissolved compound. I observed that one of the elements in the dissolved compound accumulated on one electrode, and the other element accumulated on the opposite electrode. I could clearly see that electrical forces were responsible for the joining of atoms and compounds. This proved that the atom had an electrical component, and because of electrical components, I proved that atoms cannot be solid, like John Dalton said. I also discovered benzene and illuminating gas. Benzene is a hexagonally shaped molecule that helps us make new materials and inventions. And someday, it might even help us understand more about chemical bonding. I discovered this in 1825. I also created Faraday's Laws of Electrosis. Where these are laws about the area of electrochemistry, and my laws are vital to our understanding of chemical reactions, and will continue to be vital for much longer than I will live. I will eventually die from natural causes in my home in Hampton Court at the age of 75 and in the year 1867.